Hi there. In this video we're going to look at how we can interpret histograms and answer various different questions that get asked in GCSE. Now, if you remember the previous video on drawing histograms, uh, you should remember a really important fact and that's we use frequency density on the y-axis and that's calculated by doing the frequency divided by the class width. Now this has a very important uh, feature. If I cross multiply and multiply both sides by class width, I can get a formula for frequency. So the frequency is given by the frequency density times by the class width. In simple terms, that means that the area of each bar will tell us the frequency. So let's see how that affects uh, what we need to do to answer some questions. So here we have a histogram and it's the check-in times at an airport. So I'm asked to work out the number of people who are waiting more than 40 minutes to check in. So if I come along and draw in a line here, I can see I'm interested in all the people that are to the right of 40 minutes. So I want the area of all of this. And like we said before, the area of the bar tells us the frequency. So I'm going to do the class width times by the frequency density. In this case, it's going to be 5 multiplied by 2. Point, uh, I'd say 2.18. So 5 multiplied by 2.18 gives me 10.9. I'm going to round that to 11. Uh, the area of this bar will be, again, 5 multiplied by frequency density, which is 5.8. So 5 multiplied by 5.8 gives me 29 and then finally this one is 10 multiplied by 1.5 which is 15 so adding those together we get 11 and 29 is 40 40 and 15 is 55 question 2 I'm asked to work out the number of people waiting less than 25 minutes so now I'm interested in everyone to the left of this blue line here. So I'm going to need to calculate the area of this bar, the area of this bar, and the area of this bar here. So this one is going to be 5 multiplied by 0 0.8, which is 4. This is 15 multiplied by 0 0.8 which is 12 and finally this is 5 multiplied by 2.8 which is 14 adding those together 4 and 12 is 16 16 and 14 is 30 this question here now we're asked to work out the number of people waiting between 15 and 30 minutes so again, I'm interested in, let me just actually clear off this stuff here so we can see exactly what's going on. Uh, between 15 and 30 minutes. So I'm effectively interested in the area of this bar and the area of this bar. So this is 5 in width and 0 0.8 in height. Multiplying those together, we get 5 times by 0.8, we get 4. And this is 10 multiplied by 2.8, which is 28. Adding those together, we get 32 people. Now, I just want to confirm these answers with you and show you using autograph. So, let's take a look. First question was the people more than 40 minutes. So let's have a look. If I put in 40 here for when it's greater than 40, we can see here down the bottom that the frequency is 54.67. We had 55, so we rounded it correctly. That's absolutely spot on. And next one, we want the people waiting less than 25 minutes. So if we come back to autograph, uh, I'll just drag this over. People waiting less than 25 minutes. So that's changed to 25. Um, in fact, let's actually just delete that. 
do it again to people less than 25 minutes we get a frequency of 30 which is what we got here and finally between 15 and 30 minutes so between 15 and 30 minutes we now get a frequency of 32 which is exactly what we got here okay a couple of other things we could be asked to work out the median check-in time now if you're asked to work out the median check-in time I highly recommend you work out the frequencies for each bar by doing the area so I'll just reveal the frequencies for each bar here let's just work out the total frequency now by adding these all together so we've got 4 plus 12 plus 28 plus 32 plus 20, 29 and finally plus 15 that gives us a grand total of 120 people now because we have a large data set that means the middle person is roughly the 60th person so I'm going to have to look at my bars and work out where that 60th person uh, appears so we've got 4 here and adding the 12 that gives us 16 adding 28 that gives us 44 now the 60th person is going to be in here somewhere so just to note at this point up as far as here we've got 44 people adding these all together I need another 16 of this 32 so I want essentially half of this bar so I want 16 of the 32 people and I want to multiply that by the class width in this case which is 15 so 16 over 32 times by 15 gives us 7.5 so I want only want to go seven and a half minutes along this class interval so the medium waiting time is going to be 37.5 let's check that using autograph again so 37.5 is the medium waiting time if I bring up the statistics box have a look here the medium waiting time here is 37.5 so absolutely spot on there second thing I have to do is work out the interquartile range so let me just tidy this up a little bit now if we've got 120 people that means that the upper quartile will be found at the 90th person and the lower quarter will be found at the 30th person so let's work out what the upper quartile is so we need 90 people so again working out a cumulative frequency as we go 4 plus 12 is 16 plus the 28 gives us 44 plus 32 gives us 76 okay so the next bar is worth 29 but I don't want the whole bar I only want 14 more people so let's just clarify at this point we've got 76 people I need to get to 90 people so I need another 14 of this 29 so I want to do 14 out of the 29 people and multiply that by the class width which is 5 so doing that on a calculator 14 over 29 multiply that by 5 and we get 2.41 2.41 so at f I've got 45 plus the 2.41 gives me 47.41 so the upper quartile is 47.41 and the lower quartile is at the 30th person so let's work out where that is 4 and 12 is 16 so I need 14 of these 28 people so we'll do 14 over 28 
and multiply that by the class width which is 10 so we get 5 so the lower quartile is 25 so the interquartile range is the upper quartile take away the lower quartile so 47.41 take away 25 gives us 22.41 and that is how you work out the median and interquartile range for a histogram okay time for you to have a go here are some questions different histogram uh, if you've printed off the notes you can uh, read it off directly from the histogram best of luck Okay, hopefully you've tried that question. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the solutions now and you can mark off your work, see how you did. So there we have it. That is how we interpret a histogram for GCSE. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Best of luck with the revision and I'll talk to you again sometime.